Hey guys, for those that don't know me, my name is Gia and I am a vegan bodybuilder. Welcome. I don't post uh, YouTube videos on a regular basis. I'm not a professional YouTuber, but what I do do, guys, is I get a lot of questions on Instagram and Snapchat, and when the answers are too long for me to answer in those platforms, I created a video either in YouTube or IGTV. I haven't figured out what content goes in what platform, but I do, I, I think I started realizing that if it's more food stuff, it should go on YouTube because maybe you're watching it on an iPad or something. If it's more lifting stuff, maybe you should go on a phone because maybe you might be at the gym watching it. I don't know. Anyways, if you have ideas, put it in the comments below. Um, if you're not already following me, go ahead and follow me. Instagram, snappy snappy. Um, so one of the things that I want to uh, show you today, guys, is uh, one of the foods that I've been making. I am four weeks out to my next competition. It is October 5. My next competition is November 3. Eek! It's an M NPC competition. Uh, I will compete in the figure category. So that being said, I'm four weeks out. That means my macros are pretty slimmed down. I'm not going to share my macros because they're designed specifically for me. But what I do like to do, guys, is I like to get really creative because I still love to eat a lot of food. That just means I have to get creative in how I um, distribute my protein, carbs, and fat. Um, so sometimes I'll just make random things that will allow me to still have lots of volume but enjoy food in ways that I think will satisfy some of my cravings. So what I'm going to show you today, guys, is protein pretzel. And it's vegan because I'm vegan. <laughs> you know what I realize? I flex a lot in videos. <laughs> Anywho, uh, be mindful, guys, that when I'm creating stuff like this, it's not going to be like your normal pretzel texture. You know, that wonderful, like, very moist, um, kind of pull-apart um, sort of pretzel. Um, it's a little bit different because I am using strictly wheat gluten, not regular flour. Wheat gluten, for, that, for those that are not familiar, is the gluten stripped out of flour, and it is super, super high in protein. I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but if I can try to read it for you, it's... For a serving, it's 23 grams of protein, 4 grams of carbs, and 0.5 grams of fat. So if you guys are willing to forego a little bit of texture um, to get that high level amount of protein so I can put my carbs somewhere else, like I can eat, like, I don't know, a ton of zucchini, I love zucchini, <laughs> and cucumbers and, and whatever. Actually today, I ate pretzels, regular pretzels. So now I'm going to have a protein pretzel. Um, but if you can... If you can forego a little bit of texture, uh, then you can um, use your macros in different ways. I think you know what I mean. Anyways, this is super simple. I've got my um, small oven already preheated to 350. Um, and I'm just going to make one pretzel. This is going to be kind of a big one. I'm going to be traveling as well, so I'm going to make a bigger batch. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys, but let's see if I'm successful. So anyways, guys, I track everything in an app called Chronometer. Um, I like Chronometer over MyFitnessPal because Chronometer has curated items, meaning that things are vetted out before they are put um, into the system. Uh, some people like MyFitnessPal. I prefer Chronometer. Um, I've already put my wheat gluten into a bowl. That's just the wheat gluten in there. Um, it's 50 grams. I've already weighed it out. This is the scale that I use. I just bought it off Amazon. I track everything using grams. You guys will see that sometimes it says grams or milliliters. It's the same thing. Um, come on, friend. Come on, Lee. There you go. Milliliters. Can you see that? Um, so I've got 50, 50 grams of um, wheat gluten in here. Then I'm also going to put um, salt. I eyeball a lot of stuff, so I'm just doing my best to measure it for you guys just so that you have an idea of maybe how much I put. Um, I like salty things. <laughs> so this is a quarter teaspoon. Um, and I'm probably going to do a quarter teaspoon in the mixture. <laughs> um, maybe just over a quarter teaspoon. A quarter teaspoon and that much more into the bowl. Uh, I'm gonna mix that up. Uh, I'm also going to put 
baking powder. Always store your baking powder, guys, in the fridge, BT dubs. I'm going to, let's say, eyeball it to... Uh, I'm going to do three quarters of a teaspoon of that guy. Um, and then I'm going to just mix it up. I always like to mix it up as I go because it's making sure that things are evenly distributed. Can you see that? It's mixing. All right. And then I'm going to do um, 15 grams of Dijon mustard. I love Dijon mustard. This is one just from Trader Joe's. Um, Dijon mustard, make sure that you get mustard. Sometimes mustards have oils in them, which make them even fattier. But this one, um, per serving, is uh, half a gram of fat. I'm going to do three servings, which is 15 grams. So I'm actually, I've teared my scale, which means I put my scale down to zero. Can you guys see? Um, I tear it and then I'm going to do negative 15 grams. So I'm going to just pull out until, um, the, oopsie, the scale goes to negative 15. And like I said, guys, I'm always eyeballing stuff. So sometimes it turns out differently than how it did before. Um, you guys can obviously change things up the way that you want to. I would advise you guys, I've eaten too much fat today already and I want to reserve my fat for before I go to bed, but I advise you guys to put like some sort of seed in it or maybe crushed up nuts in it just for a little bit of texture. Um, you can also add nutritional yeast in here. Um, and then what I'm going to do guys is I'm just going to mix this puppy up. So mixing it up a little bit um, just to have the seeds kind of incorporated into the, can you see this? into the um, the wheat gluten and break it up a little bit. If you're using wheat gluten alone, the reason I add the mustard, especially with the mustard seeds, is because if you, it's just wheat gluten alone, guys, it's going to be really tough and nothing breaks it up. Wheat gluten is um, a pretty, like, tough... Um, Stretchy, stretchy, gooey, gummy, gummy, gummy product, depending on what you mix it with. If it's just straight up water, it's going to be really gummy and tough. Uh, the more fats that you mix into it, the more that it becomes a little bit softer and a little bit more like um, pull apartable. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, water. So, because I'm just trying to make this as proteiny as possible, I'm only going to do water. You guys could opt to do maybe a little bit of coconut milk in here if you wanted, or if you wanted to put a little bit of oil in there, you could. I'm not going to because I'm trying to reserve my fats for today. Um, I've got a quarter cup of water here, guys, and the only reason I'm putting it in the measuring cup thing is because I want to be able to tell you how much I put. Again, normally I eyeball it. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Holy guacamole. Um, the more water you add, you can see it's kind of, can you tell what I mean when I say it's gummy? Um, so that's about a quarter cup of water. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Maybe just, that's about half of a quarter cup, so that's eighth cup. So I'm just going to add that in there and see how that goes. And then guys, you're going to have to at some point get pretty dirty. So make sure you wash your hands. My sister says you got to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds and make sure that with soap and make sure that you you're getting your cuticles and your knuckles cuz that's where the germs stick. Uh Anytime I bake, guys, uh, I use a Silpat. This has obviously been loved up a lot on. Uh, Silpat is great. This is actually not the Silpat brand. I got this off of Amazon. I have this smaller guy for my small toaster oven, and I have a, two bigger ones. Uh, but I like this because nothing sticks on it, so it's super easy. So once you've got this guy, this is the kind of texture and consistency I want. Um, and it kind of just looks like that smooshy, ushy, gushy. Yeah. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to um, put it in, roll it into a ball. And it's going to be a little bit wet. Can you see? Um, and that's okay. 
because I actually am going to put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. But I, I always eyeball things um, and keep an eye out on it as best as possible. Because I'm so horrible at measuring, it means my cooking times are also usually pretty different. So keep an eye out on it. The reason I like 350 is because it allows you to... Um, it allows the inside of the pretzel to cook a little bit more, um, so it's not just so gummy inside. So I'm just kind of squeezing it out. Um, wheat gluten is like, can you see? It's like, tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. <laughs> it's stretchy. It's not like regular flour, but it's amazing because it's all protein. And the, I think people get scared of it a little bit because it is such a different texture, especially when you're trying to prepare it. But you, when, you, when you play with it a little bit more, you kind of get used to it. Um, just remember that it is a bit more gummy, and if you want it to not be as gummy, um, add things that will break it up. Seeds, mustard seeds, um, some fats, um, nutritional yeast. If you're making something sweet, um, peanut butter, cashew butter, uh, peanut butter powder. Um, I actually make cinnamon rolls with this too, and I break it up. Um, with uh, or mix in peanut butter powder in it. Man, somebody's calling me. My Fitbit is going nuts a butzo. So I'm just squeezing it and kind of shaping it. I know this looks sorts of all sorts of funny. Um, it will expand, guys, because of the baking powder. The baking powder not only helps things cook, um, helps things brown, but will also make things rise. Uh, so I'm going to space it out a bit because it's going to get a little bit bigger. Um, and you guys can opt to season it right now with other stuff that you might want. You might want to do pepper on it. You might want to do salt on it. You might want to do flavor god or some other sorts of stuff. Um, but mm, I'm going to stretch it out as much as possible without breaking it. Look at that baby. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven for 350 degrees. So, so guys, I've got it at the oven at 350 degrees. It's a little mini oven because I normally do um, smaller batches anywho. Um, and I'm just going to um, definitely let that sit in there for like 10 minutes. I may turn the um, Silpat thing around uh, just to get an even cook. And then I'll show you what I do when it comes out. And I'll let you know how long it stays there for. Um, but yeah, let's see. So guys, I added one more minute to it because I just wanted it a little bit browner and it's ready. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna pull it out of the oven. Where's my mitt? Um, if you guys can see it. This is what that baby looks like. I ended up not turning it around just because I got busy trying to make a bigger batch for my trip. But um, this is what the baby looks like. I'm ooh hee ha ha ooh ha 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 ha. I'm actually gonna let it sit on a plate um, for a little bit uh, just to cool off. And as you guys can see, when I'm talking about the sill pad not sticking, see, it just comes right off. And you can toss it in the sink. Uh, so it just comes right off right there. Now, uh, the thing that I'm going to do, guys, uh, while it's hot, is I'm actually going to take, you can use oil, but again, I'm just trying to reserve my <laughs> calories. I'm going to put a little bit of salt or water on the, um, on the outside, and I'll tell you why in just a little bit, because... I want to sprinkle some salt on it. Hold on one second, I'm feeling it life right now. I've just got some salt in my hand. And I'm just gonna put it on those wet bits. And it'll just stick a little bit more when it's wet. Yes, I like my salt. I'm going to let that cool for a little bit, uh, just so the inside cooks a little bit more. Um, it doesn't hurt to sprinkle a little bit of water on there. Just let that salt stick and melt in, or dissolve in, to the pretzel itself. 
I know. It's kind of... This is not your... This, I don't think this is how a professional chef would do it. But this is how I do it. Because I don't have that much time in the day to be messing around with salts. Okay. So that's that, guys. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And then I'll show you what it looks like. So guys, now that I've let this sit for a little bit, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Uh, pulls apart like that, like that. Mm -hmm. Let's just see. I don't know how I can tell you guys that it's a bit more gummy than a regular. But again, I uh, just trying to make something real quick because I'm behind on protein. Um, and this is super easy to do. And you can make it every day if you wanted to. Um, you can change up the recipe however you want to. Sometimes I add garlic powder or onion powder or nutritional yeast in here if it's a savory pretzel. If I want to make it sweeter, I'll add um, peanut butter powder with stevia. Um, sometimes I'll add wonder cocoa in there. Um, it just depends on what you guys are feeling. But anyways, this guy has um, this pretzel here, my friends, has probably too much protein for me to consume right now because I want to make sure my body eats, consumes all of it. This pretzel has 38 grams of protein, 6.7 grams of carbs, and 2.3 grams of fat. Can you see that? Mm. Um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, put it in the comments below. Um, if you have any ideas or maybe different tips for me, put it in the comments below. If you're not following me already on Instagram and Snapchat, follow me. Um, I hope that was helpful, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from this mug, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell somewhere. I don't really know where it is, but I'm about to chow down. So, hope that was helpful, guys. And, yeah, have a great day.